Hi guys, it's Gina from Glam Me Up, and today I'm going to be doing a review on this Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. Okay, so first of all, let me say I just really, really love this concealer. I got it at Walmart probably about a week ago, and it was only 6 or $7, which is really cheap. And it's a heavy-duty concealer. This product is definitely comparable to high-end brands. Um, Hard Candy was actually in Sephora at one time, and now it's at Walmart, so it's much more affordable. It's easier to get your hands on, and you get a lot of product in this. This has .71 ounces in it. Um, it's going to take you forever to even use this up. I used to use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20, and you're only getting .24 ounces in this, so you're not getting as much product. This is probably all you would need for your entire face, and I'm going to show you on my hand here like how heavy this is. But you can tell how heavy that is. Like That even like covers the pores on my hand, and you can't even see it, and it fills them in, so that's really great. You need the tiniest amount on this. Pretty much what's on that cap is all you would need to cover one blemish. Um, it can get kind of cakey sometimes since it is a heavy-duty concealer. Um, so when I put it under my eyes, I use the tiniest bit and just dab it on and make sure you set it with a setting powder since it is so thick. So this concealer is also made for covering up tattoos since it is a heavy-duty concealer. Um, I've seen some videos around where it actually does cover up, t up tattoos. People were demonstrating it and it actually does cover them up. Um, it comes with this pencil as well, which is used to line the outside of the tattoo before you put the concealer over it and you just keep layering it on. Um, I don't have any to show you all with that, but it does cover up pretty much everything. It can even cover up moles pretty much. That's You just have to layer it on lightly. Pretty much everything is good about it. The only problem that I have with this is it doesn't come in as many colors. It only comes in light, medium, and dark. Um, I have the lightest shade, so if you have darker skin tones, it might be hard to find, but pretty much if you blend it out, it's going to match with every skin tone if you're lighter. So if you're close to my skin tone, kind of light, medium, like NC 20, 25, um, then light's going to work fine for you. Um, you can use a brush for this. I like to use my fingers just because it's thick. It's easier to blend out because sometimes it can get kind of like sticky. So the warmth of your finger is easiest to blend it out with. But pretty much this is a great concealer. You get a lot of product. It's really good coverage. Um, it doesn't cake up too bad if you apply it right. Um, it lasts a really long time. I've worn this more than 12 hours and it hasn't come off at all. It hasn't creased. I haven't had a problem with creasing at all. And I've heard that this is very comparable to the Kat Von D concealer and it's much cheaper. I mean $7 and you're getting a ton of product. It's really a great deal. Be sure to check out my blog for a list of products that I'm wearing on my face and where you can get the concealer. Um, and make sure you comment below with your opinions on this concealer or if you're going to try it out. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.